Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great today. This is Said Hassan from Big Spend. Today we are learning how to create this visual. And without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. If you want to download those assets to follow along, please check the links in the description. And the bonus for this video, you can share your artwork in our Facebook group. Again, links in the description. And I will give you my feedback to how to make it better and take it to the next level. So let's start. Let's hit Control plus N to create new document. Okay. The size will be 1080 pixel in the width, same will be in the height. Resolution will be 72 pixel per inch for anything that will be displayed on screen. Color mode will be RGB. Okay, let's hit create. Now let's make the general composition. Go to file, place embedded, choose the Instagram template, make it a little bit smaller like this to scale the object from the center hold the alt click and the drag position it hit enter to confirm let's add the main subject image go to file place embedded choose the main subject make it a little bit bigger move it down a little bit smaller again hold alt to scale from the center again a little bit smaller move it up maybe a tad bigger yes i think this is good hit enter to confirm now guys let's hit ctrl plus zero to view the full visual if you are zoomed in or out hit ctrl plus zero to view 100 percent okay guys we want to mask the bottom area of our body to make the illusion that it is in the gray rectangle behind it how we can do this let's hit this mask icon to add a layer mask to this layer hit m for the rectangular mask tool okay my rectangular marquee tool here okay let's zoom in m again click and the drag mark all the area okay and let's fill it with black make sure the foreground color is black okay hit alt and backspace to fill it with black to fill the area of selection with black again control plus d to deselect control plus zero to view the full image now we want to position the main subject a little bit better let's choose the layer of the main subject move it a little bit down yes i think this is good and we are going in the right direction okay guys let's create the background now how we can do this choose the background layer add the new adjustment layer from this icon let's choose a solid color and let's choose it the color of the t-shirt that she is wearing i like this color combination and let's duplicate this color for layer by holding alt click and drag and let's choose another close to this layer maybe this magenta color here i think this is good okay guys let's move it behind the first colorful layer choose the mask layer we want to show some of the underlying layer here how we can do this choose the mask layer here hit b for the brush tool how to make the brush bigger or smaller hold alt right mouse button click and drag yes it is now bigger choose the foreground color to be black and hit ok the opacity let's make it five percent and start masking out areas okay guys Yes, I think it is good. We are masking and showing some of the background. Yes, guys, I like this combination. This this rose red color and the violet or magenta color. Okay, guys, now let's create a new 
layer empty layer above the two colorful layers hit g for the gradient tool make sure the colors are black and white let's hit ok let's click and drag from the bottom left corner change the blending mode to soft light let's see before and after yes it it added some illusion of light source from the top right corner here yes i think this is good okay now let's add some details to the main object how we can do this okay let's choose the instagram template layer go to file place embedded choose the sky image hold alt click and drag position it in the rectangle if you can't see clearly you can reduce the obesity continue transforming and make the obesity 100% again click enter to confirm okay now guys we want to mask the sky layer inside the gray rectangle image behind the main subject how we can do this it is simple it's not complicated we will not use any complicated masking techniques we just going to add a mask layer okay hit m again for the rectangle marquee tool choose the gray rectangle click and drag yes okay now guys if we fill this area now with black this area will be masked but we want the other way around we want this selected area visible and the other areas are masked out so how we can invert this selection by holding ctrl plus shift plus i and make sure the foreground layer is black hold alt and backspace yes we want to deselect the selection is still active we can deselect by hitting ctrl plus d now we can make the opacity of the layer 100 percent again yes this is good and we are going in the right direction okay now let's add another detail the good thing about this now we have the mask area we want we can use it with other objects as well as we are going to see in the next steps go to file place embedded okay choose one of the two mountain let's scale it okay i think this is good maybe a little bit smaller yes move it up a bit yes this is good now we can use the mask we already have done how we can duplicate this mask to the other layer okay select the mask hold alt click and the drag to the other layer yes the mask is duplicated okay i think we are going in the right direction now let's add the other mountain image go to file place embedded choose the other mountain image yes okay position it however you want now i think we want it a little bit smaller yes i think this position is well okay let's hit enter to confirm again let's repeat our last step choose the mask layer hold alt click and drag to the new layer now this is good okay let's add another image go to file place embedded choose the palm leaf scale it maybe rotate it a bit right click flip horizontal yes rotate it scale it down i think this is good hit enter to confirm yes this visible area here is good but we want to mask this let's create new mask layer b for brush tool make the brush smaller by hold alt right click and drag okay make the opacity 100 percent this time we want the hardness 100 percent right click make the hardness 100 percent 
Okay, and start brushing. Yes. Okay, now we are going in the right direction. Let's add another image. Go to file, place embedded, choose the palm tree image. Okay, rotate it a bit, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, hit enter to confirm. Control plus zero to view the full image. Maybe a little bit bigger. Control plus T for transform. Yes, I think this position is good okay let's hit enter now again we want to mask this area create choose the palmetry layer okay let's create a new mask layer choose the brush tool the foreground color must be black hardness 100 percent and start brushing okay this is easy guys we have done this maybe like two times now okay so let's continue okay what we are going to do next now let's add the hat at the corner of the image how we can do this go to file place embedded choose the image of the hat okay make it smaller let's zoom out a bit hit ctrl plus minus in the numpad to zoom in and out control plus minus to zoom out control plus plus to zoom in hold alt click and drag to scale from the center scale it again okay let's zoom in a bit maybe position it in a good space okay scale it however we want yes i think this is good okay let's hit enter to confirm now let's add another image we are making now the general composition of the visual and we are going to add a lot of details along the way okay now let's add the luggage image here let's scale it okay let's position it like here okay i think this is good that's it for today guys see you in the next chapter